Hello, my name is Elena. I love beauty and makeup, especially eyeshadow. I like reviewing makeup. I love doing rankings. And if you like that kind of content, then definitely keep on watching. So today I'm going to go ahead and rank my ColourPop eyeshadow palettes. I have 16. I know that may not seem like a lot, but it is a lot for me being a small YouTuber. Um, I definitely have accumulated a lot since I've started my YouTube channel, but I just want to go ahead and rank them for you and let's go ahead and just get started. Okay, so at the number 16 spot is going to be Twista Slate and this is what she looks like. Um, it's at number 16 just because it is not my favorite um, formula. Um, I know some people really like this and they didn't have any problems with it, but when I had, when I reviewed it, I had a lot of problems. It was just very patchy. Um, the formula was just very dry. Um, it just wasn't good for me. Um, I want to go ahead and try it one more time just to see maybe it was me. I don't know for sure. Maybe it was my primer, but this is why it's at 16. It just was not a good palette for me. Um, like I said, people on YouTube really love this palette, so I feel like I just got a dud or something. I have no idea. But this one just was not my favorite, so that's why it's at number 16. And number 15, we have Sweet As Can Be, the Winnie Pooh collection. And this is what it looks like. Don't get me wrong, I love Winnie the Pooh. I um, grew up with him, and I, I still love him. And that's why I got the eyeshadow palette. And to be honest, this eyeshadow palette was not my favorite. Um, just the formula, again, was just not that good. It, it is very cute. I love the color story. The shimmers are good, though. I do like the shimmers, but the mattes were just lackluster. They just weren't that good. I'm not saying they weren't as bad as the Twisted Slate. They weren't patchy at all. It just wasn't my favorite. But... This is why it's at number um, 15. I mean, don't get me wrong, this blue, though, so pretty. But it just wasn't my favorite, so, yeah. And number 14, we have Clear the Air. This was an extra, celest the extra celestial collection. I'm not so sure if that's what you call it. Um, but this is what she looks like. Not bad of a palette. Um... After, like, this palette and so on, I don't really have any problems with any of them. <clears throat> it's just, you know, my preference. But this one is very, very nice. This shadow, though, did break, so I had to press it back in. But I, I like this. It not as bad of a palette. Um, I'm just ranking it at number 14 just because of the color story. Um, if you know me, I love color. And this is more of a neutral type of... Um, color story but it's not bad the formula was really really good I really enjoyed it but it's just the color story is why it's at number 14 and number 13 we have set in stone and this was with the um twisted slate it was like a little collection and this is what she looks like very very nice I'm not gonna lie this is super good palette and it's just at number 13 just because of the color story because it's neutrals. But this is a super good neutral palette. Let me tell you, the shimmers are amazing and the mattes are amazing. I really love this palette. It's just because it's neutral is why it's, you know, at number 13. But I had no problem with this palette. There is a cream right here. I don't like the cream. Not gonna lie, the cream is just, it's drying out. But otherwise, everything else is really, really good. So, yes. And number 12, we have On A Whimsy. And this is what she looks like. Very, very beautiful. That blue you see is such a stunning shimmer. I love it so much. It's just at number 12 because I like the other color stories they have going on a little better. Um, this is really good, though. I'm not going to lie. The quality is super, super good. I think it is discontinued, if I remember it correctly, but there's nothing wrong with this palette. I just, I don't know, like the other color stories speak better to me. This was just a super good palette, so that's why it's at number 12. 
And number 11, we have Clearly in Love with that extra celestial um, collection. And this is what she looks like. Sorry, this is so awkward. It's so small and I'm not used to like holding small palettes and I try to show you guys the best I can. So this is what she looks like. Very, very nice palette. Um, it's just the color story again. That's why it's at number 11. But don't get me wrong, it's really, really nice. The collection was super nice. I really love the collection. It's just, like I said, just the color story. And number 10, we have Clay It Cool. And this is what she looks like. I love this palette. I love it so much. Such a good palette. Again, we have a cream shadow. Not my favorite. Um, the shimmers, though, and the mattes are super, super nice. It is a really nice palette. Don't get me wrong. It's just at number 10 just because of the color story again. But it is a really nice palette. If you love your neutrals and this is more of a this is more of a warm tone neutral type of aspect and it's just super super nice. I love it and it's just at number 10 just because of the color story, but a really nice palette. And number 9 we have Coast is Clear. Um so I do have a broken shadow, so I'm I've not glued it back in. So I'm just gonna try to show you the best I can. If you can't see it as very well, I'm sorry. It's just because it keeps falling out. But this one was my favorite out of collection. It's such a mauve cool, like cool so color story. And this one was just super good. I love this palette. It's just at number nine. Remember, just cause because of this color story. But this silver though, let me tell you, this is a very nice silver. Um, everything about this palette is super nice. The mattes, the shimmers, everything. It's just at number nine because of the color story, but I really enjoyed this palette. At number eight, we have the Your Golden palette. And this is my only big palette I have. I hope it's all in frame. I apologize if it's not. But I love this palette. I love it so much. It's such a good palette. Um, we do have this pressed glitter, that blue that you see on top, that is a pressed glitter. It is actually kind of nice. I'm not going to lie. It is not bad of a pressed glitter. I have tried it, and I liked it. I'm not much of a pressed glitter person. I don't like pressed glitters at all, but this one I thought was really nice. So the only reason why it's at number eight, just the color story. As you see, it's more neutral, but it's a super good palette. I use this palette a lot, to be honest. I know it may not look like I use it a lot, but I have used this a lot. Um, I use it just for basic, when I want to make a basic look. This is the palette I usually reach for, just because it has so many colors, so many different colors you can choose from. Um, tones, all of that, the colors, tones, and I just really like it. So yeah. And number seven, we have the High Tide palette, and this is what it looks like. Very, very beautiful. Love this palette. I have not used it in a hot second, though. I need to use it again. Um, It's just really nice. Uh, really blue. The only reason why it is at number seven is just because it's just all blues. Don't get me wrong. I love my blues. I mean, I like purples better and greens, but blues, I do love. And this is such a good blue palette. If you want affordable blue palette, mon monochrome, I think this is what it says. It is. It's like a monochrome like the same color kind of color story all in one palette. I think that's what it's called. You know what I mean? But it is really, really nice. If you want that kind of palette, this would definitely be a good one to pick up. Uh, the formula is really nice. I've had no problems with this. I think it might be discontinued though. I'm not so sure. Um, but I felt like this was a very underrated palette also. Not many people talked about it, but it's just at number six, I think. No, number seven. It's at just number seven just because it's just one color. But don't get me wrong, I like one color palettes, but I just don't reach into them as often as other palettes, like other palettes that have more colors. But it's just a really nice palette. It's at number seven just because, like I said, just a one color story kind of palette. And number six, we have the Child palette. And this is what is on my eyes today. Um, it's, I've been really wanting this palette, and as you see, I did do a full face of ColourPop, 
and two of the shadows broke and I was really sad about that. I haven't contacted ColourPop yet. I mean, they're, they're workable, they're still usable, so it's not like anything's wrong with it. But it's at number six just because I've only used it once. So I don't have like my final thoughts on it. But as of right now, it's a really nice palette. The only thing I did have troubles with and I was kind of disappointed is this color right here. I felt like it's hard panned. Like you have to pick up with your fingers. You can't pick it up with the brush because if you pick it up with the brush, it's not going to go on very well. Um, the only way it's going to go on well is your finger. That's what I've noticed. And it was disappointing, but it's still a really, really good palette. Don't get me wrong. That just kind of made me upset because I really wanted this palette and I really do love it and I don't regret getting it but that's just the only issue I did have this palette but it's just at number six just because I just got it and I would have bumped it lower also because of that shadow so that's why it is at number six okay so we are at the top five I just want to let you know the top five I really couldn't decide. It was super hard to rank the top five. So with that being said, I could change it throughout the day, What depending on my mood. So what it is at now, take it with a grain of salt. It's just because I really couldn't choose. I love the top five palettes. So let's go ahead and jump in with top five. The fifth one being the new Control Alt Delete Glam. I mean, not new, it's just new to my collection. I apologize. But this is what she looks like. Very, very nice palette. I really love this palette. I did a look on when I did the um, Full Face of Color Pop. I did a look with this palette. And I really, really enjoy this palette. Super, super nice. The only problem, and I don't, it's not a problem for me, but I have seen YouTubers have the problem that this is like more of a pressed glitter. But I don't really mind it. I don't really think it's a press glitter. It feels more just like a chunky, chunky shimmer, but not quite a press glitter. But it is a really nice palette, and I didn't mind it. The shimmers, the mattes, super, super good quality, and I don't regret purchasing this at all. So yeah, um, it's just a number five because, like I said, I really couldn't choose. The top five, I don't know. I... It's just at number five, just because that's what I ranked it at this point. Number four is going to be the Stars palette. And this is what it looks like. Very, very beautiful. Mine is a little bit messy. I do apologize. Um, I love this palette. I don't know what else to say. I love Star Wars. So when they came out with this palette, I had to get it. And it did not disappoint. The only thing that is wrong with this palette and it's not a big deal i'm just nitpicky when it comes to palettes is this red was hard pan the sh red shimmer and this burgundy turned out red than burgundy on your eyes that's the only problem or the only complaint i had about it but otherwise just a really really good palette super super good quality love the color story yes it is neutral but um these marble shades though absolutely stunning i love them this silver right here, absolutely stunning. So I know like the other ones I rank lower because it's neutral, but this is just, it's Star Wars. I'm going to be a little biased. I'm not going to lie, but it is a super good, super good palette. So yeah. Okay. We are in the top three and the third one is Daisy Does It. Okay. So just a little story. This shade right here just broke. So I had a precedent. I don't know why my ColourPop palettes have been like the shades been breaking or falling out. Like I don't understand. It's happened to me lately and it's super annoying. But I was able to press it back in. So yeah, you can't even tell that it fell out. But I was I was like, what the heck? I was like, seriously? And that's one of my favorite shades too. It is a super shock. But yeah, just a little story. Just want to let you know. Okay, so number three. The Daisy does it, and I love this color story. I actually made a really, really nice look, and one of my favorite looks is from this palette, to be honest. Uh, such a good quality. Um, I So fresh right here. Oh my goodness. I just realized there's a big dip in there. I have used this palette quite a bit. Um, I have nothing bad to say about it at all. 
just a really good palette. Kind of upset that the shade just fell out, but we got to save it. I don't know, it's just not like I said, with the top five, they could change throughout my mood. It's just top three maybe because the two other ones I like a little better. I don't know for sure. But this one is such a good palette. It was very underrated. Um, many people didn't talk about it. And I thought this palette was such a good palette. Um, I don't know. Really don't have anything bad to say about it. So this is the number three. At number two, we have the Mandalorian palette. I am seriously opening these with so much care because I'm just afraid things are gonna fall out but this is number two the Mandalorian palette and I love this palette such a grungy palette I did a look maybe three weeks ago two weeks ago I'm not so sure I don't remember but it was the look turned out so well such a beautiful palette I'm not much of a gray person but let me tell you like, you can do these grays, and when you do the little um, duochrome right here, it helps a lot. It makes the look so much more better, and I really just, I don't know, this palette is just super, super good. I have nothing bad to say about this palette. The quality is amazing. Um, yeah, I think you can still get it, though. I'm pretty sure you can get it, and I just really love this palette. It's at number two, just because the top one... I like a little bit more, but like I said, take everything with a grain of salt, the top five, but yeah. And then at number one, we have Sage the Day, and this is what it looks like. Such a beautiful palette, amazing quality. This, I don't know, I just, I really love this palette. It's at number one, so obviously I like it, but this shade right here, so beautiful. This, like all the shimmers are just really good. The mattes work so well. It's just amazing palette. I'm pretty sure you can still get it. Um, if not, I do apologize. But I thought I saw it still on the website when I checked the other day. But this is such an amazing palette. Nothing bad to say about it. I got it back in January. So I haven't had it like for that long. But I have used it quite a bit. And I don't know. Just This palette was just so good. It blew me away. So Sage the Day is at number one. Okay, so that is gonna be it for my ranking, my ColourPop palettes. If you enjoyed the video, don't forget to leave a thumbs up. It helps a lot. And don't forget to subscribe. That also helps a lot. But till then, I will be back with a lot more videos. And please just stay beautiful, stay healthy, and stay safe. Bye.